there, it's Ashley from the Loopy Lamb, and today we are taking a look at some yarn I received from a local hand dyer, uh, Richard DeVries, and Richard, I do hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, and um, I was fortunate enough to meet Richard at a uh, yarn event locally, ended up be, uh, being supplied with this absolutely gorgeous yarn to try out and do a review for. You can check them out at richard.com, R-H-I-C-H-A-R-D.com if you're interested in checking him out. What I've got here today is one of his bases called uh, Sirocco. Now, currently on his website, there are four different bases. Uh, there's two fingering weight bases, a worsted weight and the, uh, what I have here, the Sirocco, which is a DK weight. Now, this is 100% superwash merino, and um, these are 110 gram hanks. Now, um, for 110 grams, you're getting 267 yards, which is approximately 244 meters. It looks, it doesn't say that these are the hook or needle sizes, but I'm assuming it's needle sizes, which it, uh, because it says five to seven US. Uh, or 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter, I'm assuming needles would be appropriate. That would probably be around the, the size I'd want to use for this weight of yarn anyways for crochet hooks, or maybe something just a little bit bigger. It says we recommend hand wash and lay flat to dry. So um, on Richard's website, um, I was taking a look and it has so many beautiful colors. Uh, yarn, like an impressive array of choices as well. So um, when I had the opportunity to make a selection, it was honestly really hard to choose. Um, but uh, I am absolutely drawn to blues and um, I, I, my eye was immediately drawn to this one. And when I saw that its name was indigo bunting, which if you're not aware is the name of a bird, my choice was made for me. I had to get this one. Absolutely beautiful. Just a very vibrant, beautiful blue color. And then um, Richard has a lot of really gorgeous stippled yarns. Um, and this one here is the Oz Opal. And it's just beautiful. He's just found this way to make what would normally be too much color, which sounds crazy to say, but too much color not overwhelming. It, it's absolutely beautiful. The colors work together. Um, and I, I cannot wait to see how this works up. Even on the way home from the event, I was taking the yarn and because I didn't want to unwrap it in the car and have a mess on my hands. Um, but I was like just going, pulling the yarn apart like this to take a look at um, the different effects throughout the yarn. And uh, I can see some of the indigo blue is in here. And that's why I got these two um, because I'm going to design something with the two of these together. Now with the, um, stippled or speckled yarns like this, I know that a lot of crocheters tend to shy away from them because they're not sure how to read the yarn and how it will work up in a crochet swatch. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these away. I'm going to do a swatch in the, uh, stippled yarn and come back and tell you my findings and uh, show you how it turns out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and I've done my swatch um, as promised with the Oz Opal from Richard DeVries and um, the colors just worked up beautifully. Um, so what I do with my swatches, I try you, I usually try to do the three basics. I do a single crochet, half double, and a double. And it might be a little tricky to see um, at this uh, distance away from the camera. But what I've done here is I've done uh, double crochets for the first section. This middle section here is half doubles. And then up here, we've got these single crochets. And you can see how the blue kind of um, is more spread out up here. And then is um, the colors start to tighten up here at the top. So really, really pretty. I really enjoyed working with this yarn. Very bouncy or plump um, strand. Very nice to work with. And like those colors just are gorgeous. And I think it's going to look really, really great matched up with this indigo bunting here. And so um, I did use a four millimeter crochet hook for this swatch. Uh, for my design, I think I will go up maybe another hook size or two just to get some better drape because um, as you can see with um, that hook size of the four 
it is a little stiffer than I'd like for my fabric, but it's still absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to design with it. So if you are interested in checking out Richard's yarn, I will include a link in the description box below to his site where you can check out all of his yarns. Um, I, as I'd said before, he has the four different bases on his site and um, lots and lots of variety in terms of colorways and lots of these uh, beautiful uh, stippled and speckled yarns for you to check out. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And um, if you have a favorite indie dyer that you think that I need to check out, please leave their name in the comment section below so I can check them out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking and I'll see you guys next time.